Hello students, in last video we already covered gradient of scalar point function phi in that directional derivative is done. Now today we are going to start divergence of a vector. So what is divergence of a vector? If vector differential operator del operates vectorially on vector point function y bar it gives scalar quantity because del is vector y bar is vector so it gives scalar quantity del dot f bar called as divergence of f bar means dot product of two vectors gives scalar quantity so del is one vector f bar is another vector if you take dot product of these two vectors gives scalar quantity called as divergence of f bar now suppose position vector given a r bar is equal to xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar then we have to find divergence of r bar that is del dot r bar can be calculated what is del del is i bar daba by daba x plus j bar daba by daba y plus k bar daba by daba z dot r bar is xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar so what is this dot product this dot product is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 means daba by daba x into x plus daba by daba y into y plus daba by daba z into z so we have to take here partial derivatives of x with respect to x is 1 plus partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus partial derivative of z with respect to z is 1 so del dot r bar is 3 so this is very important for solving the problems on vector identities we have to use the standard result that is del dot r bar is equal to 3 means value of del dot r bar is 3 now what is solenoidal vector field if suppose f bar is given vector field and if you find divergence of f bar and if we get the value of that quantity is 0 that is del dot f bar equal to 0 then we can say that f bar is solenoidal okay so this is related to divergence of a vector point function f bar divergence of f bar sometimes question is there find divergence of f bar means we have to find del dot f bar now what is curl of f bar curl of f bar is denoted by del cross f bar and divergence of f bar is denoted by del dot f bar this dot and cross is very important here so curl of f bar what is mean by curl of f bar if a vector differential operator del operates scalarly on vector point function f bar it gives scalar quantity it gives sorry vector quantity del cross f bar called as curl of f bar means del is vector f bar is vector cross product of two vector gives vector quantity and dot product of two vector gives scalar quantity so del cross f bar is called as curl of f bar now same as divergence of r bar that is divergence of r bar is 3 means del dot r bar is equal to 3 so we have to find del cross r bar again means curl of r bar now we know that r bar is xi bar plus yj bar plus zk bar and del is i bar daba by daba x plus j bar daba by daba y plus k bar daba by daba z so del dot r bar or del cross r bar how we calculate cross product of two vectors first row is i bar j bar k bar then second row is first del vector is so what are the coefficients of i bar j bar k bar from del this is the value of del so coefficient of i bar is here daba by daba x then daba by daba y then daba by daba z and from r bar in r bar coefficient of x y z is coefficient of i bar j bar k bar is x y z so right here third row that is x y z and if we expand this determinant then we get curl of r bar that is the value of del cross r bar is equal to i bar into daba by daba y of z minus daba by daba z of y minus j bar into daba by daba x of z minus daba by daba z of x and plus k bar into daba by daba x of y minus daba by daba daba by daba y of x 
so here if we take derivatives of z with respect to y that is 0 derivative of y with respect to z is 0 because this is partial derivative so 0 i bar minus same here derivative of z with respect to x is 0 derivative of x with respect to z is 0 so 0 j bar and here same derivative of y with respect to x is 0 partial derivative of x with respect to y is 0 so plus 0 k bar is equal to 0 so the value of del cross r bar is always 0 so you have to use these results again for solving the problems on vector identities for vector identity these two values are very important first one is del cross r bar equal to 3 and second one is del cross r bar is equal to 0 next one is irrotational vector field so f bar is said to be irrotational if del cross f bar equal to 0 and when f bar is solenoidal if del dot f bar equal to 0 so this is very important here if del dot f bar equal to 0 then we can say that f bar is solenoidal vector field if del cross f bar equal to 0 then we can say that f bar is irrotational vector field and if f bar is irrotational vector field then there exists a scalar point function phi such that f bar equal to del phi so how to calculate phi here if f bar is irrotational then we have to calculate phi so how we find phi suppose given vector field f bar a f1 i bar plus f2 j bar plus f3 k bar here this f1 f2 f3 are not constant this f1 f2 f3 are functions of x y z now using this f bar we have to find its scalar point function phi so for that we have to use formula f1 is function of x y z so take here integration of f1 with respect to x and if we take integration of f1 with respect to x then take y and z are constant plus similarly f2 is also function of x y z so we have to take integration of f2 with respect to y and take the terms of f2 free from x okay means we have to take only terms of f2 containing y and z and if you take integration with respect to y then take z constant and plus integration of f3 dz so we have to take f3 which is free from free from x and y means only take the terms of z and then add constant of integration c so this formula is very important for finding scalar point function phi i am again repeating here we have to take integration of f1 with respect to x at that time take y z constant take the terms of f2 free from x and at the time of integration take z constant take the terms of f3 free from x and y and take integration of f3 with respect to z okay now we will take one problem on irrotational vector field now question is show that f bar is equal to y cos z i bar plus x cos z j bar minus x y sin z k bar is irrotational and find scalar point function phi such that f bar equal to del phi now when f bar is irrotational we know that f bar is irrotational if del cross f bar is equal to zero so our question is here show that f bar is irrotational means simply we have to show that del cross f bar equal to zero so we have to find the value of del cross f bar and we know that del is i bar dabba by dabba x plus j bar dabba by dabba y plus k bar dabba by dabba z and f bar is given here so how we find cross product of two vectors first we have to write first row of this determinant is i bar j bar k bar then second row is first del vector is so right here dabba by dabba x dabba by dabba y dabba by dabba z and third one is f bar is given vector field so write down coefficient of i j k in third column that is y cos z here x cos z and here minus x y sin z now only expand this determinant and check whether the value of the determinant is zero or not if zero then we can say that f bar is irrotational now i bar into dabba by dabba y of this so we have to take derivative of this function with respect to y this derivative is partial derivative so if we take derivative of this function with respect to y then we have to take x and z are constant so this minus x minus x sin z as it is into derivative of y with respect to y is 1 
minus daba by daba z of x cos z so with respect we have to take derivative of x cos z with respect to z so x is constant and what is derivative of cos z that is minus sin z so this minus and this minus is plus sin z okay then minus j bar into its minor that is daba by daba x of this means you have to take derivative of this function with respect to x now and with respect to x y and z are constant so minus y sin z as it is into derivative of x is 1 minus daba by daba z of this so again y is constant you have to take derivative of cos z that is minus sin z so minus minus plus here sin z okay and plus k bar into its minor is daba by daba x of this so derivative of x cos z with respect to x is cos z because derivative of x is 1 minus daba by daba y of this that is cos z if you observe this here each term minus x sin z plus x sin z minus y sin z plus y sin z and here cos z minus cos z all get cancelled so answer is 0 means 0 i bar plus 0 j bar plus 0 k bar that is equal to 0 so from this we can say that del cross f bar equal to 0 and therefore f bar is irrotational vector field okay therefore f bar is irrotational vector field now additional question is if f bar is irrotational then you have to find scalar point function phi so next to find scalar point function phi so how we find that scalar point function phi using formula phi is equal to integration of f1 f2 f3 now this is f bar vector field given eh? this is say f1 i bar plus f2 j bar plus f3 k bar means this is say f1 this is f2 and this is f3 now what is our formula our formula is integration of f1 dx so integration of f1 that is y cos z dx and here we have to take y and z constant plus integration of terms of f2 free from x is 0 here because x is multiple so write 0 into dy plus integration of f3 terms of f3 free from x and y again 0 here xy into sin z suppose xy plus sin z is there then we can take sin z but xy is multiple so take terms of f3 free from x and y is also 0 into dz plus constant of integration now we have to take here integration of f1 with respect to x so y and z are constant means y cos z constant we can take outside integral and integration of dx is x so phi is y into cos z x plus c this is the scalar point function phi so problem is very simple now next problem is same show that f bar is equal to x plus 2y plus 4z into i bar plus 2x minus 3y minus z into j bar plus 4x minus y plus 2z into k bar is irrotational and hence find scalar potential phi such that f bar equal to del phi so how we prove this same as last problem we have to find here del cross f bar if value of del cross f bar is 0 then we can say that f bar is irrotational so first row is i bar j bar k bar second row is daba by daba x daba by daba y daba by daba z third row is x plus 2y plus 4z then from f bar 2x minus 3y minus z and here 4x minus y plus 2z now expand this determinant after expansion of this we get i bar into daba by daba y of this so derivative of this function with respect to y derivative of 4x is 0 because that is constant derivative of minus y is minus 1 and derivative of 2z is 0 so minus 1 minus derivative of 2x is 0 minus minus plus this is 0 minus minus plus derivative of z is 1 similarly minus j bar into daba by daba x of this is 4 only because derivative of this term is 0 
minus dabba by dabba z of this derivative of x is 0 to y is 0 4 z ka derivative is 4 and plus k bar into derivative of this function with respect to x is only 2 and derivative of this function with respect to y is also 2 so this is equal to again same 0 i bar plus 0 j bar plus 0 k bar equal to 0 so del cross f bar is 0 here again so therefore you can say that f bar is irrotational and if f bar is irrotational then you have to find scalar potential phi such that f bar equal to del phi so how we find phi phi is equal to integration of again f1 f1 is this that is x plus 2y plus 4z into dx plus integration of terms of f2 free from x terms of f2 free from x is here minus 3y minus z into dy and plus integration of terms of f3 free from x and y is only 2z so right here 2 2z dz plus constant c now we have to take integration of f1 with respect to x so x integration of x is x square by 2 plus 2y constant a into integration of dx is x plus 4z constant a into integration of dx is x same we have to take integration with respect to y here so minus 3 into y square by 2 integration of y is y square by 2 minus z is constant integration of dy is y and plus 2 into integration of z is z square by 2 plus constant of integration c so this is the scalar potential phi now next problem is sometimes you have to find constant say b c and given in problem may be given f bar is irrotational so same problem is given here find constant a b c so that this f bar is irrotational means given that f bar is irrotational f bar is irrotational means we have to given that del cross f bar equal to 0 so you have to use this for finding the values of a b c so del cross f bar equal to 0 means that is first row is i bar then z bar then k bar second row is dabba by dabba x dabba by dabba y dabba by dabba z and third row is x plus 2y plus az bx minus 3y minus z and here 4x plus cy plus 2z so value of this determinant given is 0 this is given in problem now only expand this determinant and equate with 0 0 means that is 0 vector you can write 0 i bar plus 0 z bar plus 0 k bar so this implies i bar into dabba by dabba y of this derivative of 4x is 0 derivative of cy is c plus derivative of 2z is 0 minus dabba by dabba z of derivative of uh, 1 minute bx minus 3y minus z and we have to take derivative of this function with respect to z here so with respect to z derivative of bx is 0 derivative of minus 3y is 0 derivative of minus z is minus 1 so minus minus plus so c plus 1 minus z bar into its minor dabba by dabba x of this that is 4 only derivative of these two terms are 0 minus dabba by dabba z of this is a only correct because derivative of x is 0 to y is 0 plus k bar into its minor dabba by dabba x of this b minus 3y minus it is derivative 0 minus dabba by dabba y of this is 2 and equal to 0 means 0 i bar plus 0 j bar plus 0 k bar so our question is find a b c so only equate the coefficient of i j k so what is coefficient of i bar in lhs that is c plus 1 equate with rhs 0 so this implies c equal to minus 1 same here coefficient of j bar minus sin a but 0 a or we can equate with minus 4 minus in bracket 4 minus a is equal to 0 implies a equal to 4 
c equal to minus 1 and same here b minus 2 equal to 0 implies b equal to 2 okay so these are the values of a b c next problem is same problem a you try show that the vector field f bar is conservative by mistake here word conservative a conservative means that is irrotational and find scalar point function phi such that f bar equal to del phi so you try this simple simple problem you want to find del cross f bar and if you get del cross f bar equal to zero then you can say that f bar is irrotational and then find scalar potential phi so you have to take here only integration of f1 because terms of f2 free from x is zero terms of f3 free from x and y is zero so you have to take for phi only integration of this term and maybe phi is here y square into integration of cos x is sin x plus z square x plus c okay thank you in next video we will take the problems on vector identities that is very important